Hey, Yosemite here. Today I want to show you how to edit a truck like the International CV series to hold a lot more capacity. The default one only holds, the tipper only holds 3,500 liters. And I will show you how to make it 100,000 or if you want to, even more. First thing we do is download my mod template for my GitHub. I will put the link in the description. On here you go to releases on the right, click on the latest version, and then download this sourcecode.zip. I save that in my downloads, and then I'll go to my downloads. And then we unzip this, unzip, go in, because it's a folder in a folder, and in here we have the Excel files. Um, we will copy this and go to our mods folder, which is in my games, for example, 25, mods, and we put it here. I will rename this to make it a more, uh, a better name, and I call it edits, because we're editing basic equipment. So the reason we're doing this in our own folder is so we're not modifying the actual basic files, which are required to be clean for multiplayer. So we put all our edits in a mod, so we can turn it off and add things, keep it all clean. Um, in here, we can actually delete this readme, and the XML, we can remove this .git keep, if you can see it. So we have three files, and now we can open Notepad++. Now you have Notepad++ open. I go to File and Open Folder as Workspace. And I go back to my Mods folder and select the FS25 Edits folder. Now we can see all the files here on the side. So let's start with the Mod Description, which is the main entry file for your mod. Um, you can put your own name here if you want to. Um, this is the title that will show in the menu. Um, I like to have my edits to be top of the list, so I will start this with an A, or you could do AA, so it will always be first, or one of the first. I call it My Edits. Um, you can put more description here, it's like the extra text you see when you preview details of a mod. The icon, which for now is the government subsidy icon, because we don't have the template yet to create our own. All temporary. And then the important part is the store item. And the name says it's, it's an item for the store. So this is something we will add. Now, we don't have a vehicle in here yet. So we go back to the file store. And then we go to the installation folder, which is for me in Windows, Program Files, Farm 25. It looks like this. And they have data, vehicles, and we are doing the international. So I'll press I to go to the number, letter. It's a letter in there. Then I'll go international, CV series. And then we have all the files for that vehicle. Now we only need this CV series.xml. So we will copy this file. I press Ctrl plus C to copy it. Go back to your mod in the XML, paste, back to Notepad++, and then we can see that we now have this file. So this XML file has all the data for the vehicle, like capacity, and we're going to modify that. Now I'm scrolling down because we are looking for this fuel unit, which is usually somewhere at the bottom of the file. Then have a quick look at that. There are two configurations, one and two. And this one has bulk and the 3,500 liter capacity. Now I'm going to go in this entire fill unit configuration. And while I click this, you can see this two sections gone purple. This is closing and opening of the section. So I'm going to select the whole part. Ctrl C. Enter and paste, and now we have added a new configuration. 
But for it to work, we have to adjust a few things. I'm going to name this a tree because we already have one and two, so it's nice. Then on this line, the fill units, we're going to change the capacity to 100,000. Don't put any spaces in there. So that's the capacity. And then because we're also making it a lot bigger, a lot more can go in and the vehicle will be a lot heavier. So to prevent the vehicle to go any slower, we will add another thing here called update mass equals quote open false. And then we save this file. And then we have to remember this tree. Then we go way up, back up, back up until we find configuration sets here. And here we can see tipper like it's set in the menu. We copy the last one, which is for the tipper. We don't want the flatbed and we don't want the box body. Enter, enter, paste. I'm going to untap this just to be clean. I'm going to remove this and rename this section or configuration to unrealistic. Now, here we see some names and these refer to certain other sections like we edited fill units. And we know that we now added a third fill configuration. So we change this to, which we had before, to three. And then we can save. Go back to the mod description. And now we know the name of the file we added. So we remove file name and go for CV capital S series and save. Now we're going to load back the game and activate a mod and we'll see how it looks in the store. So loading up my save game. Um, the AA doesn't, doesn't work for DLC, so this will hopefully all be in front of your mod instead of all the way through like it was on 22 and previous games. I'm going to select this, it will be green. And then I'll start the game and I'll back with you when it's finished loading. Okay, we're back in the game and I'm at the store. And we'll press P to open the store. Don't go here. Well, you can, but I'll see you a better way. We go to this icon, which is a shortcut for your mods and DLCs. So you don't have to search in the long overview. Open. We have our own version. Uh, this is the original typical configuration with the 3500. And then we have our unrealistic with 10,000. It was supposed to be 100,000. Anyways, let's buy that. There it is. Our first mod for Pharmacy Data 25. Now I'm going to load this up with a lot of weight and actually make it a hundred thousand and we see how it drives. All right, we are filling this up with a hundred thousand liters of stone. Now this silo is not available yet. Hopefully it will soon be on my lap. All right, so we got our vehicle all filled up. We're going even a little bit uphill. We're creating tracks or ground deformation. And we can still go pretty fast. There it is. Oh, that is a little stunt. So that, that is what the update mass equal false does. It doesn't adjust the weight, so we can still drive it. I think without doing that, we would not be able to go any more, more than 20 kilometers, 10 miles per hour. So that's that. That's all for this. I'll be making more videos on how to edit stuff for 25. So stay tuned. Bye bye.